Oftentimes, the best and most memorable characters in sitcoms aren't part of the main cast. They don't show up in every episode, but whenever they do make an appearance, the impact they have is undeniable. Family Matters is one of those shows that got off on a rough start. Two beloved characters, Steve Urkel and Waldo Geraldo Faldo, were only scheduled to be one-time appearances. However, once the characters made their debut, fans responded well to the energy shift and their immediate chemistry with the cast. Soon, both Steve and Waldo didn't just find themselves inserted as series regulars, but quite possibly the most celebrated characters on Family Matters. Behind the role, Sean Harrison as Waldo Geraldo Faldo. Sean Harrison made his first appearance as Waldo Faldo in 1990. Harrison made his debut in the first season episode, The Party. There Harrison played a teenager invited to Eddie Winslow's party. His character name for the episode was Guy and Tao, according to IMDb. After his first appearance as Guy and Tao, Harrison was cast as Waldo Geraldo Faldo. However, in the show's second season, Waldo was not Eddie's best friend. Instead, he was the best friend with Willie Furfner played by Lorenz Tate. Ferfner's role in the series was Steve Urkel's bully. According to the Washington Post behind the scene, Tate and Harrison were asked to return on a regular basis, but Tate declined. Towards the end of the season, Waldo became Eddie's best friend without much explanation. Harrison became a reoccurring character in the third season of Family Matters and will be added to the main cast the following season. On the show, Eddie Winslow and Waldo Faldo would be etched in our brains as a dynamic duo. The two were best friends. The well-known on-screen friendship came after Waldo's role was reconfigured. Harrison insists that McQuarrie recognized that there was something there, a lane that wasn't being explored on the show, that I wasn't aware of at the time. Waldo was a complete contrast from Steve Urkel. While Urkel was a genius, Waldo was an idiot. Very slow, Waldo would often interpret things literally. Waldo's stupidity was usually played for laughs, much like the clumsiness of Urkel. I'm kind of a foil on the show. Waldo thinks only in the moment. He has no memory of what happened 10 minutes before. But he's not stupid. He's pretty complex. He just doesn't gasp concepts in a conventional way. Fans have wondered if Waldo could have had a greater comic influence on the show without Urkel. But Harrison firmly believes Waldo's piece of the Family Matter puzzle is exactly what it should have been. Waldo is arguably the certified king of sitcom one-liners with impeccable comic timing. Harrison said in a 2019 interview that he takes no credit for the evolution of the character. I didn't quite understand what the humor was behind the Waldo character, but I understood what I thought people found entertaining about it. There was depth to Harrison's character. Despite his uncanny ability to misinterpret simple questions or detectives, Waldo was shown as a culinary protege as discovered in his home economics class. He also endured the audience as a loyal friend and loving boyfriend to longtime girlfriend Maxine Johnson. Maxine Johnson, played by Sherry Johnson, was Laura Winslow's best friend. The show ended after nine seasons, and it's believed that had there been a season 10, someone else would have played Harrison's role because his contract wasn't renewed. According to the Family Matters fandom page, if there was a 10th season, Waldo would have moved to California with Maxine. With Family Matters setting him in motion for more work, Harrison went on to appear in even more notable black sitcoms like Moesha and Eve. Harrison even appeared in several episodes of Girlfriends. On the animated side, Harris voiced characters in DC Comics animated series, Legion of Superheroes. In exploring his voice as an artist, his roles allowed him to merge with what he was known for with remaining authentic. His last documented role in 2020 was on the series Dynasty. In addition to his acting abilities, he is a director, producer, and social media influencer. It appears that out of all his Family Matter co-stars, Harrison keeps up with Sherry Johnson the most. In fact, in 2019, Harrison appeared as a guest on Johnson's podcast. Most of their conversations were dedicated to their time on the show. Regarding to a potential Family Matters reboot, Harrison said that he was open to the idea. But both he and Johnson was unsure if their characters Waldo and Max would return leaving it up to the television executives. Johnson co-host challenged the two of them by saying Waldo and Max were beloved characters, so of course they would have to be featured in the reboot. Harrison retorted by reminding the audience there was a third child named Judy who went upstairs to her room and never came back down again, implying that anything can happen in show business. Aside from a reboot, Harrison revealed that he would like to do more acting. Most of Harrison's recent work has been in commercials, but sitcoms is something he would like to revisit. 
Apart from acting, he's also insisted he would love to get behind the scenes. In 2019, Harrison spoke on how after all these years, fans still associate him with the character he played on Family Matters. Since the cancellation of Family Matters, Harris has kept a relatively low profile. On Instagram, Harris describes himself as a food-loving smartass who speaks sarcasm fluently, humbly, noting I do a little acting on the side. Thanks to the television time capsule we know as streaming services, Harris's work can be viewed on demand. Family Matters, Moesha, and Girlfriends, all featuring Harris, can be found on Hulu and Netflix. Even though it has been nearly 25 years since he appeared on Family Matters, his performance of the show has stood the test of time.